welcome to the lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable papillon. It is a beautiful little breed with long ears, long hair on the ears, a fluffy tail. The majority of them have the um, brown or caramel or even black fur around the face. Some have spots on the back like this one. This one does not have a spot, so if you don't want to add a spot, you don't have to and the majority of them have white tails also. There is some coloration on some of them with the um, like some color on the tails, but the majority have white tails. In this tutorial, I'm going to use caramel bands, which I used for this dog, and I'm going to add a little spot like this one and keep the white tail. So if you want to add a spot, you can. If you don't, you just, you know, use all white. And also, I put some cut bands around the chest area, and these are also cut bands and the tail. So you're going to need a scissor, so be careful with that too. Don't cut yourself or the dog. And let's have some fun and make a little puppy on. Okay. Okay, once again, I'm going to be making this dog with caramel. You can use black or even burgundy brown or any kind of shade of brown for this dog. And I'm going to add a little spot on the back. So when we're making the back area, if you don't want a spot and you just want him like this, you can just add all white. So let's get started. And it's going to be a double of the caramel. Double bands. Single loom, staggered position, arrow facing down. So once again, these are all double bands. And then we're going to do another set of the caramel. And then another on the left. Okay, now we're working with the white. These are double whites. And we're just working our way down. It's going to be three stitches long. Okay, so then another double white and we're going to stretch it from this pin to this pin. Okay, and then another double white. Big stretch and now we're going into triple band for the neck. So three bands. Okay, so now I'm going to be working on the body, and once again, I'm going to make a spot. If you don't want the spot, then just make it all white. So it's going to be a double white now. And then we're going to make two stitches of double caramel for the spot. So here's one and two. Okay, and then we'll go back to the white. Okay, now we'll make the side of the body and the shoulders, and it's double white. And here's that triple band, and this is the neck. And we're stretching from this pin to this pin. And now we're just working our way down. And then connecting from this pen to this pen. And now the other side. And working our way down. And then connecting from this pin to this pin. Okay, so let's make the legs. Legs are going to be easy. We make little claws like I do with the other dogs, and they're going to be four stitches long. So you need black. It's going to be on the hook, wrapped four times. So one, two three, four, 
then a double white. Just like that. And we're going to make four stitches all together. So this is one. Here is two. Three. And four. Okay, we're going to place it right here. Okay, we're going to repeat and make another one on the other side. Be one, two, three, four. And then your four stitches of white. Number two. Three. And four. Okay, we're going to place it right here. Okay, hind legs. Same. One, two, three, and four of the black. And we're going to do three doubles of the white. So here's one. Two. Three. Put this to the side and then we'll work on the thigh area. It's going to be a double. Place it on the loom. Then another double. And then you place your leg on that pin. And we're going to loom this one first. Then we're looming this. Take it off the loom. And we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. Okay, now we're going to repeat and make another leg for the right side. So, single black, one, two, three, four, double white. Another double, and then another. Place it to the side, then a double right here, another double right here. Okay, we're going to loom the left first, and now this one on the top. Okay, I'm going to place it right here and here. Okay, so structural bands. We're going to need a single white, and we're going to place it triangle right here. Then I want to go into caramel, single caramel, and then another single caramel. So that's three total. So one, two, three. Now the tail. The tail is very fluffy. I made it um, very fluffy. So these are actually single bands coming up and then I at the end when I'm putting the dog together I put the um, the other you know bands the loose bands inside the tail so I'm going to show you how to make the little skinny tail first okay so it's a go on the loom or you can do it on your hook it's going to be a single twist upon itself and then place it on the loom 
Then another single twist it upon itself and I'm making a white tail. If you want to make a different colored tail you can do that too. Single twist and then one more single twist. Okay, capping band is a single wrapped around the pin four times. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to just loom forward. Push that down. Make sure it's straight, and we're going to place it right here as your capping band. Okay, so now let's make his eyes. Eyes are going to be black. If you're making a black um, fur on the top, you can use brown eyes, so it's a little bit different. But the black eyes might mesh a little bit with the black fur, so it's going to be a single. I'm going to get a different um, band. Single. One, two, three, four. Four times around. Or you can make a figure eight, just like that. And grab that and go around again. It's the same thing. Then take a white band, bring the eyes over. And then we're going to place it on these two pins. and then separate the eyes and bring it over just like that easy and push these down now the snout snout I made three bands thick so you need a black band for the nose once again four times around then you need three bands Make sure they're all like around the same length, like shape, so you can dangle them. Bring that snout over, bring it back on the hook, make sure it's in the middle. Get a single white band, slide it on there, and we're going to place it on any of these two same pins. Okay, and we're going to bring this down to underneath this pin, just like that. So you can see that. And now the ears. The ears I'm making just like the tail, and then we're going to put some cut bands in it to make it longer. But it's three stitches long, and I'm going to use caramel for this. So it's going to be a single, twist it upon itself place it on the loom or you can do it on the hook too. Then another single twist up on itself. Okay and then so it's two stitches really one two then a single and wrap it around this pin four times so one two three and four. Okay, you can loom. Okay, make sure the bands are straight. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, bring it up. Their ears are a little bit pointy with the cut bands on it. Now we're going to do it again, single twist, single twist, and then capping band four times around. So one, two, three, and four. 
push that down and loom forward. Okay, so now you can see this one didn't come out as good as the first one, so I'm just going to move the bands. This is tighter in the middle. I just want them all the same length. And that worked out really well. And then we're going to place it right here. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure yours looks like this, and then we're going to start looming. Okay, so first we're going to loom this band right here. So you can pull back the tail and then bring it to the left. Then we're going to grab this band right here on the right. And now the middle. And we're just looming forward to the neck area. And we're stopping right there. And now we'll loom the right side. And we're only grabbing the double white band way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. And looming forward. And we're grabbing this shoulder area, shoulder band. And same on left side, just the bottom. And looming forward. And here's the shoulder area. Okay, and now this is a triple band way at the bottom. And bring it forward. Okay, next band is this one right here on the left. It's the top most band. Big stretch. Then we have this one on the right. And now this middle band, we're going to bring it over the snout. So look carefully. I'm going to open this up. And it's just going right over. And the snout is going to come through, just like that. Now we're going to finish this white area in the middle. Okay, now the caramel on the side. To the left, and now the left side. Okay, and that is your Papillon skeleton. So make sure yours looks like this. I'm going to grab two caramel bands to do a slip knot right through this middle. Okay, pull it through. And now you can take it off the loom. And remember, when you take it off the loom, it's not going to look like the dog that is going to be the finished product. We have to do, you know, bend them around, sew his belly, and put those added cut bands. And he will look adorable. Okay, 
So he looks like this right now. Then move to the side. Put your finger right behind his head. Push it through. Pull the ears up. Snout out. I'm going to fix his nose. And then pull his neck, his legs. You can see the spot already. Now we're going to make his neck bend just like this one. So place your hook right through that triple band and do some slight tugs and it brings it up. Now we're going to fold his body shut and we're going to sew him now. And now you can see the little spot on the back and if you made it all white then it's all white on the back too. He's adorable. So you need a single white then place your hook right through the top um, stitches of white right here on the belly. You can see right there. Place your, your band and then bring it underneath them. Make a slip knot. Okay, and then we go to the next. We white. Just like that. Place your band right under on the hook. Bring it through. Then we go to the next stitch of white. And you bring it through. Okay, and now this is where you need your scissor. And please be careful not to cut yourself or the, you know, any bands on the dog. I'm going to snip that end. You're going to take one end and anchor it under any band. And then we're going to tie it off. Okay. And we're going to tie, you know, make four knots. No, three knots. Okay. However many you want, just to anchor it and sew him shut. Okay, so you can hide the excess bands within the dog or you can cut it. Okay, so now we'll stretch him out. You want to separate, let's work on the paws because they're easier. Separate the paws and then you want to just Tug on him a little bit to make him flat. So he looks like that. And then we'll do the same with this other front paw. And you just tug the bottom. And it brings it flat like that. And then we'll work on the back. Just like that. And this one. Okay, so he is coming t to look more like this little guy. And we're going to add the fringe and the hair right now. Okay, first I want to hide this and sew it in the back of the head. I'm just going to sew it in the... I'm just basically hiding the bands within the caramel part of the back of the head and we're just going to pull it through. Okay, and then go again and that hides that. Okay, just like that. So, I'm going to work on the tail. The tail's going to be fun. It's going to be really easy. And if you're making like a brown tail, you can use that color, or if you're using white like I am, use white. So I'm going to place this right here so you can see that. We are going to be placing bands within each stitch of this tail. I'm going to take it slow. It's not that hard. I'm going to place a couple white bands here, and I'll show you. Okay, so.
So there is one, two, three right here. And then there's four connecting to the to the rear area. We're gonna go on to one, two, the third one down. Place your hook right through, just like that. Then you're gonna take two bands of the white, place it on the hook, bring it through so it sits in the middle, so it looks like a little bow, just like that. Now we're gonna go next stitch up and get two more bands. If you don't want so fluffy like this, you can put one band in here if you want, but I want his hair, his tail to be a little poofy, so I'm using two. And then we're gonna place it in the middle, just like that. And then we'll go to that third stitch and place another two. Okay, so this is one side, so you can see that's flat. Now, we're gonna place our hook right through. We're gonna start at the bottom again. We put it right through this section. Now I'm gonna place my hook through the opposite way. So now it looks like this. And we're gonna get two more. And bring it through. Just like we did before. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next stitch up. Place our hook through. Take your time. If you want to pause this and rewind, you can do that too. Okay, bring it through. Just keep it in the middle. You can see it's starting to look poofy. Now there's one more stitch right here. Two more. Bring it through. Okay, and then you have this. So he is looking adorable already, and we didn't even cut this yet. And there's one more I'm going to put through this capping band. There's that capping band right at the end. Place your hook right through it and place two more bands. Okay, so it looks just like this. Now, you want to bring that tail up. So it's a thick tail now. Now bring your hook right through this bottom band. And you can do some tugging at the bottom to bring it up a little bit. Now, there's still, it might still not be going up, so what you can do is take another white band, or you, if you're using a different color, you can use the, the caramel color. Place your hook through one of the little single twists at the bottom, and you're going to anchor it through. You're going to bring this through. Make a slip knot, so now it's tied. And what you can do is bring this down and it's gonna pull the tail and we're gonna tie it to the dog. So we're gonna place our hook right through the dog. In any section, I'm gonna place it right here. Take that little anchor band and pull it through. And it's going to secure the tail more upright. Okay, you just pull and now it's more upright. So that's an easy fix too. And then you don't have to, you know, pull the bands or anything. 
And then what I just do is just I hide the white band within the dog. So I'm not cutting it, I'm, I'm just hiding it. Just within the dog, just like that, easy. And now it's more upright. And I'm gonna cut this at the end, but what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna snip the ends so it looks like this. I'm gonna do that at the end when I do the um, ears too. So the ears, very easy. Same kind of thing with this as the tail. I want my bands to be like the same color as the ear. I want them a little bit more oblong. See how this one is like a little oblong and then this one is more rounded? Try to get bands that are a little bit more skinny because we're going to cut these two and I want them a little bit more straight. So I have a couple of them right here. And you're basically just going to take two of them. Make sure it's long. Then this one has two stitches. So here's one and two. Place your hook right through the one next to the head just like that. Then you're going to take your double band, pull it through, and then you stop right there. So only a little bit shows at the top. And I've tried to make the ears differently, and this is basically the best way that I could make the hair stand out and, and more beautiful with the cut bands. And it's easier too. Here's another two bands. Next stitch. Bring it through and stop. Okay, so there's two. Well, there's four bands right here. Now the end has that capping band. And I want another two bands that are the oblong. I'm going to snip the end. Then I'm going to take my hook, place it through that capping band, take this cut band, hold onto one side and just bring it through, just like that. And I want the bands to be facing down. You see one's facing down and the other one's up in the air. So I just have to move it around, maneuver it a little bit, so it faces down. Okay, so now it's all facing down, and we're going to repeat on this side. So let me get some longer bands. This is kind of like how I make the Maltese, but this one has longer hair and the, the bands are in different places. Okay, so here's the three, the two, and I'm gonna place my hook right through that first stitch. I'm gonna get my two bands. Bring it through, leave a little bit at the top. Then I'm going to go to my next stitch, two more, a little bit through, and then my cut bands. So I'm going to get really nice ones for this one. Cut the end lengthwise. Go through that capping band, take your time with this dog, and bring it through, make sure that they're facing down, I think he's facing down pretty good. So now we have the tail, 
we have the ears. I didn't, I'm not cutting the bands yet. Well, you can. You can just snip the bands right now. The bottom. And then if you want them shorter, you can give them a little haircut also and make it a little shorter. And if you have one band popping in the other direction, just maneuver it a little bit. So now I have the ears done and I want two more bands right here to make more of a butterfly shape because this dog is known for um, butterfly ears. So I'm going to take two more bands and I'll show you quickly how to do that. Two more of the long ones and I'm going to snip them. Okay, so now I put two bands right here. I actually put three. You can do two or three. I'm going to do three just like that one. However hairy you want, you know, the dog. And it's going to bring it, the ears a little bit more down. And I also want the ears more upright too. So you can move the ears up. Just like that. So I have three bands right here. And I'm going to place my hook right through this caramel section right here. See that? Then we're going to go through this white section. See where that hook is? And then we're going to go back through the caramel section. So it's right through this front section of the head. Then I'm going to take my three bands. And I'm going to do the same thing and pull it through. If you don't want to do this part and you like the dog just like this, you can just keep it like that too. Bring it through. So now I have three bands on this side and three on this side. I'm just going to make sure they're the same length and they're facing down. He is looking adorable. Okay, and then if you miss an, and if any bands come out, you can replace them very easy. So you can see that the extra hair that we just added brings more around the face area. So one more thing about this dog, I put some white cut bands on the neck area, and I'll show you quickly how to do that. I like this one a little bit better. I put like two bands, two to four bands. So same as before. You want more of a, you know, the lengthy bands. So I'm going to cut two. Then I'm going to go through these three, the triple of the neck area. This is the triple band. Same like we did before, pull it through. Okay. And bring the bands down. And these I'm going to cut because they're too long. So that's two. Two bands I just put there. And then I'm going to go into the neck area and just grab the two, the two inner bands, just like that. And I'm going to add about two more bands, two more cut white bands. A lot of detail with this dog, but she, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, bring it through. Make sure they come down. And they can be any which way you want. It can be all facing down or a little bit to the side. And now you can snip them and give, give a little barber, a little haircut, however long you want them on the chest. 
close to the groomer. So it's a little bit furry chest. And if you want to cut the ears, you can cut the ears too, the length on the ear. And now we can trim the tail. Remember, don't trim the inside part, just the little loops. I'm just snipping them so they're pointy. That's lovely, the lovebird. <laughs> he woke up, so don't mind him. Remember, if you don't want it as poofy, you can actually take some bands out, too. Okay, and remember, don't snip your fingers or the dog. I think I got all of them. So this is your Papillon. I think he came out adorable. And once again, you can maneuver the bands. If you want more hair on the, on the ears, you can make more hair too, just the same technique as before. I want mine a little longer, but if you want it shorter, you can, you know, give them a trim. And you got the chest hair, cute little puffy tail, and they do stand by themselves. And this is your Papillon. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Science. Thanks for watching. Bye.